Shalom Amakim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, all glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah. And the sincere peace and salutation to all you, hopefully, let I came out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah has commanded you to do so he can wake up and seal the elect of the nation of Israel which consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations that may look like the heathen nations, but your father's seed line goes back to you being the so-called black, Hispanic, or Native American. Shalom. It's your brother Halaki from the GMS Denver camp coming back once again through the Spirit and Power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh with another video. And this time I wanted to just, uh, you know, go in on the two-thirds real quick. Because you niggas are about to be destroyed, man. Straight up. You two third niggas. You about to be destroyed and good riddance, man. Because you are a fucking eyesore right now, man. You niggas are running around with fucking Halloween costumes on. You see, celebrating wickedness. All into this voting, man. You niggas are just out here living recklessly, man. And the most high is about to send judgment upon you, man. You still cleaving onto black culture. You still cleaving onto uh, Chicano culture, uh, Mexican culture, Native American culture, man. And all that shit leads to death because it's not the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. It's not the ways that we would be that we were given by our heavenly Father, man. That's not what we were given from the ancient of days, man. We was given a way to live. We was given a law, statute, and commandment, man. We was given. We we, we were we was uh, set up to be the chosen people to walk in the ways of the Most High. And you and you, Jakes. You two-thirds have completely forsaken Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, and now he's going to destroy you, man. And let's, and let's see why he's going to destroy you. So this is Hosea 4 and 1. Hear the word, oh, hear the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, ye children of Israel, all 12 tribes, man. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the children of Israel according to the Bible. So hear the word of Yahweh, the one the world ignorantly calls God, man. This is his word that we're speaking, man. We're not speaking, we're not out here speaking our own words. We're not out here making this up. We're reading it just as it's written in the Bible, man, and breaking it down to you through the Holy Spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So Hosea 4 and 1, hear the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, ye children of Israel. For Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Because there is no truth, no mercy, nor knowledge of the Most High in the land. And that's exactly what you see. In, in, in this planet Earth, man. You see, you, you see Jake walking around here eating abominable foods. You see Jake walking around here being homos and lesbians, transgenders, big ass nigga in Walmart talking about my name Isaac, but he got a goddamn uh, he got makeup on and a motherfucking wig, a cross dresser, man, big ass Israelite dude. This is the type of shit that's going on with you Israelites, man. You see, there's no knowledge of the Most High. There's no fear of the Most High. And this is why the Most High is going to destroy you niggas, man. Then it says what in verse 2? By swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out in blood, touch of blood. And that's all that's uh that's all black culture is about. That's all Hispanic culture is about. That's all so-called Native American culture is about, man. You see? Swearing, lying, killing, stealing, committing adultery. They break out in blood, touch of blood. And you hear it in the music, man. That's all these niggas talking about. I'll put this nigga down. Then I'll take his bitch and go do this to his bitch, this, that, and the other. That's all you fucking jakes are into, man. <coughs> Salaki. Baraka thank you. How about you, Shah? And that's why the Most High is about to come put you niggas down, man. You see, because he has his prophets out here calling unto you. Telling you to repent. Telling you what the right way is, man. Telling you what you're supposed to be doing, man. Because if you can't see, America's going down. America's being destroyed by the Heavenly Father, man. But you, Jakes, are still so fucking blinded and, and, and gone in this spell of Babylon, man, that you can't even see it. But the Most High is breaking this place down right before your eyes. And he, had, he has put us out here on the highways and byways, getting with, beginning with our elder apostles. And the elders under them and the men on down, man, to, to warn you and tell you 
that great judgment is coming, man. And the Most High has told you why he's bringing this upon you, man. You see? So this is Jeremiah 25 and 4. And Yahweh have sent unto you all his servants, the prophets, rising early and sending them, but ye have not hearkened nor inclined your ear to hear. The Most High sent, sent his prophets early, man, before all hell breaks loose, man, to give you a chance to repent. Because what? That's the most high showing compassion upon his people. He's always done that, man. Let's go. Let's 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 see if we can find that real quick. Uh I think that's in numbers, if I ain't mistaken. Let's see. Uh Worded right now. Matter of fact, let's do this. Let's cross reference. Yep, Second Chronicles, Slocky, it wasn't numbers. Second Chronicles 36 and 15. And Yahweh, God of their father, sent to them by his messengers. Who are the messengers? The prophets, man. Rising up be times or early and sending. Because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. That's what the prophets were to you, man. The prophets were the sign of compassion from the Most High for his people, man. And what do you do? You mock, you scoff, you talk shit. You see, you threaten brothers, try to fight brothers. Yeah, all type of madness you niggas was doing, man. When the Most High was trying to show love to your ass. You see, but you what? You knocked away the hand, man. And that's going to be to your destruction. Second Chronicles 36 and 16. But they mocked the messengers of the Most High and despised his words and misused his prophets until the wrath of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh arose against his people till there was no remedy. And that's exactly what the fuck is about to happen in these times to come, man. The wrath of the Most High is about to pour, be poured upon the house of Israel and there will be no remedy, man. Because you had a, a period of grace, man. You had a period of time where the most I was showing you compassion and wanting to have mercy upon you, but you niggas refused, man. So there's going to be no excuse, man. That's why you see every, all the prophecies ramping up in the earth, because what? The gospel has gone out to the four winds of the earth, man. All you niggas that had a chance to hear this word, man. And the only ones who, who had the spirit or, or the fear to turn back was the remnant, man. So there will be no excuse when the most I pours out that wrath, man. So this is Jeremiah 25 and 4. And Yahweh have sent unto you all his servants, the prophets, rising early. And that just shows you what we just read was in 2 Chronicles, man. The Most High has been saying that the, the same thing ever since Moses was on the scene, man. He's been telling you over and over and over and over and over again, you niggas still ain't got it. You see? 2 Chronicles, that was Moses speaking. I'm in Jeremiah. He's saying the same. He, he reiterating what Moses said, man. You hard-headed ass niggas. So Jeremiah 25 and 4. And Yahweh by Shimei Hawashah have sent unto you all his servants, the prophets, rising early and sending them. But ye have not hearkened, nor inclined your ear to hear. Disobedient. Want to do what the fuck you want to do, man. Just like I was reading earlier. And uh, I think it was Jeremiah 44, man. When the Most High told Israel not to go down into Egypt because he was going to destroy them down there. And these motherfuckers told the Most High, what? We're going to do whatever we want to do. <laughs> you you jakes or something else, man. Hey, but the Most High got something for that ass, man. That was a big ass truck. But the Most High got something for that ass, man. And you're, you're about to find that out. You see? Verse 5, they said, the prophet said unto you, what? Turn ye again, every, every now every one from his evil way. Turn back from the wickedness you're doing. Stop being homo. Stop being lesbian. Stop being transgender. Stop smoking weed. Stop smoking cigarettes. Stop committing adultery. Stop committing murder. Stop robbing each other. Stop killing each other. You see, stop stealing from one another. Stop bearing false witness. Stop having an evil eye towards your brother. Stop being covetous. You see, 
Stop worshiping false idols. Turn back from your wickedness or the most High is going to destroy you. That's what the prophets have been doing ever since the elder Abba Bivens. Shit, ever since the prophet Moses. They've been saying the same thing unto you niggas, man. Now the most High is fed up. He's just about to wipe you niggas out and start all over, man. You niggas have to be, you niggas have to go back to the spirit world so you can be reborn in the kingdom of heaven because you niggas just can't get it, man. And now you niggas out here about to celebrate some goddamn Halloween, man. I pray the most high sends out crazy judgment tonight, man. Straight up. So Jeremiah 25 and uh, 5, they said, turn ye again, now everyone from his, from his evil way and from the evil of your doings. And dwell in the land that Yahweh have given unto you and your and to your fathers forever and ever. And that's back when we had the land, man. It was still that just shows you that we we've been saying the same thing for uh for uh, thousands of years, man. Verse six, and go not after other gods to serve them and to worship them. And that's the same thing you just still doing to this day, worshiping Jesus Christ. You got Jake and Alton all into Islam. I seen a, I was making a damn delivery the other day. You got Jake out here doing the Muslim shit in the parking lot, man. Bowing, getting on his knees, bowing down. The that nigga did that shit for like 30 minutes. You see? You Jake's out here worshiping them false idols, man. Shit over here in the in, uh, northern kingdom part of, uh, of Denver, man. You got fucking Issachar and all of them over here. They got shrines in the yard, man. They got shrines of the Virgin Mary in the fucking front yard. This is why the Most High is coming to destroy you niggas, man. Because what, what was the first commandment that we received from the Most High? Thou shall have no other gods before me, man. And you niggas cannot come up off that bullshit, man. So, hey, we washing our hands, man. You know what I'm saying? Because I read that Jeremiah 44, 44 today. I'm like, man, you know what? Hey, fuck them to hell with them, man. And I've been like that, but even, even more so now, man. Because you niggas just won't learn, man. So Jer Jeremiah 25 and 6, and go not after other gods to serve them and to worship them and to provoke me and, and provoke me not to anger with the works of your hands. And why and why would you provoke the most high with anger or to anger with the works of your hands? Because the most high is a jealous power, man. You are supposed to serve him and him only. He said, and, and then most I would provoke me not to anger with the works of your hands, and I would not do you hurt. <laughs> you see? The most I said, hey, don't be watching them false. I, I don't want to have to do this to you, but if you do it, I'm going to have to fuck you up, man. And that's what he's done. That's why you jakes are in the condition that you're in, man. Because of your disobedience towards the most high. Jeremiah 25 and 7. And ye have not hearkened unto me. Said Yahweh by Shimi Hawashah, that ye might provoke me to anger with the works of your hands to your own hurt. You're not hurting the most high by worshiping these idols. You're not worship, you're not hurting the most high by eating abominable foods. You're not out you're not out here hurting the most high because you're talking about you're gonna do what the fuck you want to do. You see, you got free will, this and that. You're not hurting the most high. You bringing death upon yourself, man. You see? You bringing death upon yourself because you have to be judged for that. The most high ain't been the most. The most high ain't gonna be judged for uh, by nobody, man. You are gonna be judged for uh, committing all this wickedness, man. And that's what's about to be poured out upon the house of Israel, man. Upon two thirds of you niggas, man. Great judgment is coming. You see, Amos nine and ten, man. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. What makes you a sinner, man? What is sin? What is sin according to the Bible? First John 3 and 4, man. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So if you transgress the law, you are committing sins. Now, who were the laws given to? The laws were only given to you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. This is why you find yourself in the condition that you're in now. You see? This is why we're suffering here in Babylon the Great, man. Because of our disobedience against the Heavenly Father. Because of our sins, man. You see? So let's go back. 
Amos 9 and 10. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake no prevention. And that's what you, Jake, that's what you, th Jake's think, man. You think that ain't no judgment coming. Oh, y'all niggas been saying that for years, this, then, the other. You st still out here scoffing and mocking. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about fuck that shit y'all niggas talking about, this, then, the other. Y'all preaching false doctrine. Y'all preaching devil shit. You see? Because you really think no, nothing that, that you really don't think that you have to pay for these things that you're doing, man. But you're sadly mistaken, man. The most I say he about to send the sword upon you niggas, man. And who was the sword? Who was the most high sword? Esau Edom. And that's and that's exactly what's being prepared in the earth. If you can see it. If you got the spirit of Yahweh by Shemiah Shah, you can see these things happening, man. You can see Esau ramping up. The second lockdown is on his way. They already talking about giving you niggas uh, uh you they coming to you first with them damn vaccinations, man. What is that? That's the sword coming to take you niggas, man. And it's just going to get worse and worse and worse. And these niggas going, these Edomites are going to destroy you without remorse. And that's the most high's will. Why? Because you refuse to repent, man. You refuse to be obedient unto the heavenly father. So since you don't want to be obedient, you have to be put down. Point blank period, man. And it is what it is. To hell with you. This is Amos. Not Amos. <laughs> Zechariah 13 and 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Who are the two parts, man? The two parts are the two two thirds of the house of Israel, man. 66.6% .6 of the nation of Israel. 66.6% .6 of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who dwell here in, in Babylon the Great are going to be destroyed, man. You know what I'm saying? You niggas who don't want to amend your ways, you don't, you, you got a personal relationship with the Most High, but you are still out here eating a goddamn buffet of pork. You got a relationship with, uh, well, a personal relationship with the Most High, but you still out here committing adultery and, uh, worshiping false idols and shit, man. That's why two thirds of you niggas is going to be cut off. You know, and it won't be no excuse, man, because the Most High has now wrapped it up even more. Where brothers are putting out multiple videos a day, man. Videos all week. Telling you what you should be doing, how you should be conducting yourself, what what you need to do to get back into the good, good graces of the Most High, man. You see, but are you niggas taking heed? No, you're not. So hey, that leads to your death, man. And that's you know, that's the only way you can say it. Zechariah chapter thirteen, verse eight, the last sentence. But the third shall be left therein. And who is that third man? That remnant, man. That was prophesied to return, the remnant that was prophesied to take heed and hearken, man. You see? The the, the remnant that when, when they heard this word, fear was struck in them, man. And they, and they lit a fire under their ass to get right with Yahweh by Shimei Shah. That's who's going to be left therein, man. You see? Because you have men and women who are out here dedicating their life to Yahweh by Shimei Shah in hopes of receiving salvation, man. In hopes of escaping great destruction, man. You see? Because we want no smoke with Yahweh Hashem Yahweh. We we don't want no problems with the Almighty, the, the 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 power, the being that created the heavens and the earth. Do you understand that you were a thought in the Most High's mind before you was even brought forth? You know, don't don't you know that you owe your existence, your 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 whole entire existence unto Him? You see, if the Most High didn't thank your ass into existence, you wouldn't be here. You see. That's the type of power we're dealing with, man. We are a thought that came from the Most High's mind, man. You see? <laughs> and you and you niggas are fighting against your how about Shimiao Shah, boy. Y'all niggas are crazy. I'm, man, I'm, I'm still tripping off that Jeremiah 40. Because I, I read that before. I haven't read it in a while. But when I read it, I'm like, God damn. These niggas are bold as hell. You just going to sit up here and tell the Most High what you ain't going to do? You know? And, and hey, you, you, hey, you niggas got it. Zechariah 13 and 9. And I will bring the third part through the fire. Because we're going to have to go through hell too. We're going to be a part of that Jacob's trouble because we're Jacob. But the thing is, we're going through it to be refined. Two thirds of you niggas, you're going through, it, going through it to be destroyed, man. You see? That's the difference between us and you. And Lord willing, we can continue on this path of righteousness to receive that salvation, man. So Zechariah 13 and 9. And I will bring the third part through the fire. And we'll refine them as silver is refined. And how do you refine silver? By way of heat, man. By way of fire. And we'll try them as gold is tried. How is gold is tried? In the fire. You see? They shall call on my name and I will hear them. I will say it is my people. And they shall say, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh is my power. And that's what we're doing now, man. Hey, we saw that the most high before all hell break loose, man. 
We gave our we gave our life over to the most high when shit was all good, man. When you can still move around. You see? When you can still be out here having fun and, and partaking in the uh the shit of Babylon the Great, man. We gave them we gave the most high life back then, man. You see? Before COVID uh before COVID nineteen was even thought of, man. You know? Our apostles are, our apostles and our elders, more so, man. Elder Apostle DeHart been doing this for 35 plus years. He been gave up this shit to come back to the Heavenly Father. Out of what, man? Out of fear. Because the Most High is about to send great wrath upon this place that you can't even fucking imagine, man. And how you think you're going to get through this, man? Are you just that tough? You, you, you that tough? You that nigga, huh? All right, well, we're going to see. We're going to fucking see, man. Let's see what Daniel 12 and 1 have to say about that. Daniel 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up. Oh, no, nope. let's go back. Jeremiah 30, real quick. Let's see how yeah. you, you You think you're tough, right? Let's see what the scriptures have to say about that. <laughs> Jeremiah 30 and 4. And these are the words that Yahweh spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. All 12 tribes. Every last one of you, man. All of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. This is concerning you. Verse 5. For thus saith Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. You see, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. You can believe all this bullshit, these damn crackers telling you about peace coming this and peace coming that, and you vote for me, I'm going to do this for you, and I, I got a platinum plan for you. Keep believing that bullshit, man. Keep believing that that's going to be your salvation, man, because all that shit is going to do is lead to your destruction. Ain't no peace coming to America, man. Ain't no peace coming, man. Rav. Destruction, chaos, famine, pestilence, death, pain, anguish, suffering is coming to America, man. You see? That's what's coming. Verse 6. Ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child. Can a man have children? Can a man have labor pains? Can a man have birth pains? Yea or nay? No, he can't. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail... And all faces are turned into paleness. Why do these niggas look like they out here giving birth to a child? You see? Why are these niggas out here looking like they having contractions? As a woman trying to bring forth a child. Why is this happening? Alas, for the day is great so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. That's why it's happening, man. Jacob's trouble meaning what? Trouble for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You see? That's what that means, man. This is your judgment coming. That's why all faces are turned into paleness. That's why niggas out here like a woman in travail, man. Because the Most High is judging your ass. You see? Tormenting you, man. Because you don't have a hedge of protection. You don't have the angels encamped about you. You see? You just out here, man. You just out here with no protection from the Heavenly Father. And, and now, since you refuse the word of the Most High, you've made the Most High your enemy, man. You've made the creator of the heavens and the earth. The creator of all energy. Your enemy. <sighs> you niggas got it, man. <laughs> Jeremiah 30 and 7. But he shall be saved out of it. Who's going to be saved out of it? The remnant that we read about in Zechariah 13. The remnant is going to be saved out of it, man. You see? And we, man, we out here fighting to be a part of that because we know what the Most High is bringing. Well, we know what's written, but we fully don't understand it until, we be, until we're in it, man. And we just pray that we are uh, found worthy to have that protection, man, because this shit about to get bad, man. This shit is about to get bad, man. It's all Jake got on my ride fucking motorcycles and dirt bikes all day. <laughs> all right, Jake, you got it. <laughs> this is Daniel chapter 12, man, because this shit about to get... It's, hey, man. Daniel 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up. The great prince was standing for the children of thy people. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be so fucking bad out here that Michael the archangel is going to have to stand up to protect the remnant, man. That's how fucking bad it's about to get. You see? That's how bad it's about to be, man. The archangel Michael is going to have to stand up to protect the remnant of the nation of Israel, man. <sighs> Daniel 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up. The great prince was standing for the children of thy people, which are the Israelites, 
the remnant of Israel, let me say that. And there shall be a time of trouble. And there shall be a time of trouble such, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. You know? The time that we're entering into is going to be worse than the flood, man. When the Most High flooded the entire earth, he engulfed the whole earth and water and drowned everybody itself for eight people. The time we're entering into is going to be even worse than that. The time of 70 AD, when the Romans besieged Jerusalem, don't even compare to the time that we're entering into, man. And you niggas is out here playing around, thinking shit is sweet, thinking, thinking it's a game, man. Still mocking, scoffing, talking shit as if you ain't going to be touched, man. You, 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 you Jakes are in for a, a rude awakening, man. You know? So Daniel 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince will stand up for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found written in the book, and the only ones who are going to be written in the book is the remnant, man. The 144,000 and the great multitude. Those are, those are the only ones, the, the, the one-third of Israel, those are the only ones who are written in the book, man. And those are the only ones who are going to be saved from this great calamity and destruction that the Most High is about to bring upon this planet Earth, especially here to America. You see? That's what's happening, man. So let's go ahead to Proverbs 1. And like, I know when I first came into the truth, I, I, I wanted everybody to get it. I'm trying to save everybody, man. But you know what? Fuck you niggas, man. Because you niggas need to be put to death. And the most high just shows us more and more and is more and more examples. As long, uh, The longer you stand the truth, the most high gives you more and more reasons. Uh, uh, shows you more and more why that the two-thirds need to be put the fuck down, man. Because you niggas are monsters, man. And you niggas need to be stopped. You know what I'm saying? Got the cartel out here fucking chopping motherfuckers up. You got Chicago, <laughs> Bloods and Crips, gang bangers, drug dealers, pimps. You know what I'm saying? The women out of order, the men out of order. Everything is just out of order with you jakes right now, man. And the most high is coming to put a stop to that shit through your house shot. You see? So Proverbs 1 and 20. Wisdom cried without, she uttered her voice in the streets. She cried from the in the chief place of concourse and in the openings of the gates. In the city, she uttered her words, saying, and this is why you see us on the highways and byways in the chief place of concourse all throughout the earth, man. Doing what? Preaching his word as the prophecies say we will be doing. And what is wisdom saying while, while, while we are out there on the highways and byways? Verse 22. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you, I will make known my words unto you. How is the Most High done that? We just read it in a few chapters, man, a few uh, verses. He sent his his uh, servants, the prophets, unto you to tell you what you should be doing. He sent the he's, he sent his servants, the prophets, unto you to correct you in your ways, man. But did you want to take heed? Did you want to listen? Did you want to return? No, you want to continue in your bullshit, man, and it's going to be to your destruction. You see? Verse 23. Turn you up my reproof. Behold, I will make... I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. Because I have called and you refused. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. How did the most I stretch out his hands? By way of his prophets, man. By way of his prophets. You because you Jakes really think the most high is gonna come down and talk to you to you. That's not how it works, man. The most high has always sent his prophets to give you warning, to tell you what you should be doing, what you should not be doing. That's how it works. You see? Verse 25, but ye had said it not all my counsel and were none of my reproof. I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock where your fear cometh, and it's going to come, man. When all hell breaks loose, man, when these troops are up and down these streets gunning you jakes down, man, when they're coming to snatch you out of your homes as it, as it is prophesied, as it is written, the Most High is going to laugh at your calamity, man, because he's giving you warning. He's been giving you warning ever since Moses. And you, niggas, and you niggas still refuse to take heed. So when your calamity comes upon you, guess what he's going to do? He's going to laugh at your ass, and he's going to laugh at you through us, man. He's going to mock you. We're going to be mocking you niggas, man, because you had the time You had time to repent, just like we all did, man. You see? I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. 
when your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind when your when distress and anguish cometh upon you what well, let's go into this word distress man come on let's go into this word distress i don't know why i was doing that no just define distress man you know what the fuck i was talking about Distress, extreme and extreme anxiety, sorrow or pain. That's what's about to come upon two thirds, man. When you go into this word in a uh, similar words, it goes into anguish, suffering, pain, agony, ache, affliction, torment, torture, discomfort, heartache, heartbreak, misery, sorrow, grief, woe, sadness, unhappiness, desolation, despair. Damn. Despair, a complete loss or absence of hope, and that's what you two thirds are about to have out here, man. A complete loss or absence of hope. This is what the Most High is about to bring upon two thirds of the house of Israel, man. Going back. So Proverbs one and twenty seven: When your fear cometh as desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me. Then you're going to want to get right. Then you're going to then you're gonna want to repent. You see? When all hell is breaking loose, then you want to repent. You see? Instead of just doing it now. Instead of just giving this fucking place up now and just coming back to the Heavenly Father so we can live in the kingdom. This ain't our rest, man. Babylon is not all it's cracked up to be, man. It's not what it seems. Nothing is, nothing is in this place is what it seems, man. You see? Hey, but you just don't want to do it. You don't want to come back. So, hey, oh, well, to hell with you. Proverbs 1 and 28. Then shall they call, then shall they call upon me. I'm about to get his ass ran over. Proverbs, Proverbs 1 and 28. I'm about to get your ass ran over, boy. Proverbs 1 and 28. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. Whew. And that, and, and that, 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 man, that's terrifying, man. That's terrifying. You 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 out here just getting tormented in this world with no protection from the Heavenly Father, no hedge from the Most High. You know what I'm saying? No strength, no hope. What the fuck you think you're going to do, man? That's, that's fucking terrifying, man. Proverbs 1 and 28. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Because what? When you had a chance to come to the Most High early, when nothing was going on, when you had a chance... To get in the good graces of the Most High, you bullshitted and played around. And now, since all hell is breaking loose, now you want to repent to the Most High. Now you want to come back. But you're not gonna find him in that day, man. Because guess, guess what? The prophet's gonna be head. The, the prophet's gonna be head off somewhere, man. The Most High gonna have us somewhere ducked off in the cut, man. And he gonna leave you niggas to it. Uh, it's gonna tell you that. Proverbs one and twenty nine. For they for, for that they hated knowledge, and did not choose the fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. And what is fear? <laughs> what fear is the beginning of wisdom, man. You fear the fear of Yahweh Bashim is the beginning of wisdom. And there is no there is no fear of the Heavenly Father amongst you two thirds, man. Not at all, man. And that's the reason why you're gonna be destroyed. Verse 30. They were none of my counsel, they despised all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat the fruit of their own way. And be filled with their own devices. That's why I said you niggas got it, man. Keep doing what you're doing and let's see if that's going to save you in the times that we're coming into, man. The most I going to leave you niggas to it. All that tough talk, all that gun talk, all that thug shit that you Israelites are into, we're going to see if that's going to help you in these times we're coming into, man. The most I going to leave you tough-ass niggas to it. And we already know what's going to happen to you motherfuckers, man. We read it in Jeremiah 30. You're going to be out here like a woman in travail, man. You're going to be out here like a woman giving birth to a child, man. And we're going to laugh at you niggas, man. We're going to laugh hard at you niggas, man. Lord willing, we just... Lord willing, we not a part of the two-thirds, man. Because we're going to be laughing at you niggas, man. Verse 32. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. The prosperity of fools, all you celebrities that have sold, sold the nation of Israel out, man. Got them going in the wrong way. All you... Hey... You niggas gonna be destroyed as well, man. Now you now you starting to see Snoop Dogg daughter more in the news. 
This nigga Nas' daughter is more than news. Why? Because they're, they're, they're slutting out their daughters, man. They're sacrificing their daughters to Esau, man. That's why, they, that's why they're being put in the mainstream media more and more and more, man. Every time you turn around, it's an article talking about Snoop Dogg daughter this, uh, Nas' daughter that. You see? Because they're doing, they're doing that shit to keep those goodies they receive from Esau, man. And that's going to destroy you niggas, man. That's going to destroy you niggas, man. And we've been giving you warning on that as well, man. You see? What does it profit a man to gain the world if he sell his soul, man? Not a damn thing, because this place is going to be destroyed. You see? Proverbs 1 and 33. But, so, but whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely, and shall be quiet from the fear of evil. And that's what we're doing, man, beginning with our apostles and our elders and every man up under them on down, man. We are hearkening unto you, how about you, Yahweh Shah, hopes to receive that protection and that hedge in these times we're coming into because we know and understand that we can't get through, we can't get through this time on our own, man, because we ain't built like that. Shit, ain't none of us, but ain't no Israelite built like that, man. You see? Hey, look, 144, call hello, how about you, Yahweh Shah? You see? We're not built to endure these times on our own, man. And the Most High is about to show you two thirds that you are nothing without him, man. And he's been showing us that. You see? But just now, the, the only the remnant is understanding that, man. So, yeah, hey, I just wanted to bring that out real quick. You two-thirds are about to be put down, man. And yeah, how about Shemel Shah Willing? We're not a part of that number. So let's keep pushing. Let's keep fighting. Let's keep enduring and proclaiming this truth unto the world until the Most High destroys this place, man. So with that, I'm going to give all praises, all honor, all, clo all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible. Through the spirit of five, Yahweh Shem, Yahweh Shah. And a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopefully let Aki and Mathe pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. Doing the work is Yahweh, Bashimi Hawashah's command to do. With that, I'm going to say Shalom, Wah, Abba, Abba.